What's up, everyone? Welcome back to A Line in the Stars. I'm Jordan, and we are here with a video game playthrough. Oh, this is something that I've wanted to do for so incredibly long. Um, I didn't think I had the chops for it, and, um, you know, as uh, I've been going through and making these videos, I, I think I do. So I'm going to give this a shot. Uh, it's not going to be perfect. It's not going to be beautiful. Um, and we're definitely going to be learning, but... I really am excited to bring you this game, and that's Star Trek Online. Um, I started playing this game, goodness me, in 2009 when it launched. Uh, I had a computer back then that could actually play it, and uh, man, I played it all the way through probably 2014. I think we're on like season 12 or 13, something like that, pretty far into the game. And then my computer just kind of fell behind and uh, didn't want to, uh, you know, basically switched over to consoles, didn't want to keep upgrading the computer. And so, you know, as going, you know, time goes on, you know, I've heard that, you know, they ported it over to, you know, the consoles themselves and they're still making content for the game, which blows my mind. And so I guess, you know, we're just going to have to go ahead and give this a playthrough, shall we? I mean... It's a fantastic game. Um, I went ahead and created the character. Um, nothing really special. Just wanted to take the time. Like, it took a few minutes to put that together. So, uh, our captain's name. I'm not narcissistic, but this is my channel. And so, uh, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and go with uh, Jordan McJacobs as the uh, captain's name. And we're going to be starting out in the USS Andes. Uh, we're starting out in the Discovery era as well, uh, which is definitely new to me. I guess it's been around in the game for a little while, but uh, you know, back when I started playing this game in 2009, you started in the TOS era. And uh, things happened, and you know, I don't want to dig too far into it. I mean, I'm sure many of you guys know the story, but I kind of want to enjoy it uh, and rediscover how they're going to approach it. And on the other side of it, too, uh, this will be just kind of like a narrative-driven story. Um, you know, we'll follow through and, you know, just follow the story and we'll follow our captain and our ship as we go through and get bigger and better uh, and we try to work through as many of these missions as possible. It's kind of crazy to think that you know, this game has continued to get updated, and it's deep. It's, I, I can't even, I, I look at the wiki, and I'm like, oh my goodness. And so, uh, the game is definitely going to be, you know, it's story-driven. I will narrate the captain, and uh, yeah. So let's go ahead and engage. <laughs> Q's Winter, Winter Wonderland is still going on crazy. I still can't believe how much things have changed. Is that we Mary heard Wiseman? The Klingons for years. And now we have. Now, the Federation is at war. Nice. Oh, well, it's good. That was probably the last thing on my mind when I got it here. It is Tilly. Nice. It was the same for you, right? We came to Starfleet Academy to become explorers. Wow. Not all of us are fighters. Some of us are engineers, healers, scientists. We've been working hard on the ground and in space. Cool. We learned how things worked on a starship. And we learned how to work as a team. We've been getting ready to boldly go where no one has gone before. Nice. And today's your big day. Today you graduate and begin your career looks really as a good. I'm surprised. Officer. This is crazy. It's going to be amazing. Cool. Let's get going. Welcome to Star Trek Online. Today is graduation. Ah, so today is graduation day and you'll soon be embarking on your training cruise where the bulk of the ship is manned by cadets like yourself. Uh, the tutorial will introduce you to the basic controls of Star Trek Online, including movement, combat, and interacting with characters and objects. Tilly. People you can interact with have icons above their heads. Oof. Press the X button to hey, talk to them. Hey, there you are. Are you excited? I am very excited. Pretty soon we'll be reporting for duty on the cadet training cruise. That we will. I'm assuming you know your assignment. Are you kidding? I set up a triple layer alarm sequence to notify me when the postings went up. I think I knew before some of Captain Schaefer's staff. Two words. Chief Engineer. Congratulations. That's quite an honor, especially for a junior. 
right? Still not sure if this isn't one of Finnegan's pranks. He's done stuff like this, you know. But poor Jim Kirk. Hmm. Oh, uh, before I forget, Lifeson is looking for you. Actually, I think I see him over there. You should probably find out what he wants. Lead the way. Nice, okay, that's still... Okay. Here's Lifeson, one of the best tactical cadets in your class. Oh, uh, no, after Evelyn, and yourself, of course. <laughs> I heard you were looking for me, Lifeson. There you are. I wanted to thank you for helping me pass that final and for all the other times you've helped me. Seriously, I might not have made the cadet cruise if it weren't for you. I hope Schaefer recognizes all you've done to lead our class. Have you got your assignment yet? Not yet. Hmm. Well, Lieutenant DeSilva has all of the assignments now. I'd see what she knows. Before you do that, do me a favor and talk to Ian. He's got good news and he won't settle down until he shares it with everyone, including you. Sure. Oh, there's Ian. Let's find out what his big news is. Sounds good. Well, this game, like... I have to say... 2009? Wow. This game looks really good. I'm surprised. It looks really good. Cadets Quan and Peart with a combined IQ of 231, hmm. which I heard is almost up to Tamav's rating. That's the rumor, anyway. How's it going, Ian? Oh, hey. I've been looking for you. Life since said you had good news? Yes. I took the linguistics final again, and I aced it. Mm, glad that worked out for you. <laughs> you and me both. It wouldn't have happened if I didn't follow your advice. You saw that I wasn't at my best that day. You told me to give it another shot. So, I did. That perfect score really made a difference. Now I'm qualified to serve as both a science officer and a communications officer. That's impressive. Congratulations. Thanks. Always good to have options, right? Kira took your advice, too. I think it worked out for him since he's slightly less scowly than usual. But let me know if I'm right, okay? <laughs> Got it. I think I see Kiro over there. Come on. Cool. That's so cool. Mm. Come on, this way. Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. Just looking around. And here we have the smartest person in your class, or so I've heard. It's not entirely fair. Kiro is a super genius, and he's built like a brick shit. Uh, <laughs> uh, yep. Uh, hello, Kiro. Kinda love Tilly. It is agreeable to be in your presence. Your advice regarding Federation history was advantageous. It allowed me to pass the final test with satisfactory marks. I'm pleased. That's good to hear. In the interest of camaraderie, I now inform you that Captain Schaefer is still selecting the senior staff for the upcoming training cruise. There is a 78.4% chance that you will be selected for a position. Based on my current statistical models, Lieutenant Tassil may have more conclusive data on the map. Okay, let's go find Tassil. Your minimap shows you where your objectives are. An arrow will appear on the minimap if you are far away from your objective. Nice. Let's run. I'll wait out here. Tassil should be inside. Okay. Nice, Tassil. Good afternoon, Cadet. How may I be of assistance? Is this where I get my training crew's assignment? It is. I will access your assignment data now. One moment. Hmm. Fascinating. Lieutenant. Your assignment is not listed. Inquiries on the matter have been directed to Captain Shaker himself. Is there a problem? That remains to be seen. I suggest you report to Captain Shaker and ask him personally. He is in the office behind me. All right. You know, that attention to detail, those, that comm panel looks right on cue. Meh, that's great. I and love uh, it. Oh, hell of an office, dude. Anton Shaver. Good to see you, Cadet. Today's the big day. Congratulations. Judging by that look on your face, I trust this visit concerns your assignment on the training crew. Yes, sir. Uh, well, you can relax. I'm happy to report that you work with my new build job, sir. 
far from him. That sucks. Uh, I mean, thank you, Captain. There is a matter I'd like to address, though. Your academic record is impressive, but I don't see your results for the advanced phase of training program. Can you shed some light on that for me? I know that program is advised for tactical officers, sir, but I thought I had more time to take it. The Federation is at war with Klingon Empire. Mm. Shouldn't need to remind you that Klingons enjoy close combat with their enemies. And in mind, I want everyone on my senior staff to complete that program. No exception. You say senior staff, sir? I did indeed. There's a place for a cadet like you in my bridge, once you finish that phase, of course. My chief engineer and tactical officer have programmed a training simulator for you. I look forward to seeing the results. May I ask who those cadets are, sir? Cadets Tilly and Surveyor, respectively. Of course. They've been working on the simulation for me for some time now. Interesting pair, those two. Some of the staff question bringing Tilly along on the cruise as a junior. Her professors assure me that she's up to this task. It'll be a good experience for us, sir. Indeed. She'll meet you out in the quad. Talk to her to start the training, and I'll see you when you're finished. It's all for now, then. Dismissed. Yes, sir. Music's a little dramatic. That's so nice. Wow. Alright, Tilly, let's go. I still can't believe I got the chief engineer spot. <laughs> yes, it's just for the cadet training cruise, but still, how many juniors get to go on the cruise, let alone as a department head? This is exciting. <laughs> okay. Whew. Deep breath. I'm good. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> about me, huh? Where did you end up? Uh, Captain Schaefer wants me on the senior staff, but I have to pass the advanced phaser training first. Yeah? I was wondering why he wanted us to set up the program for you. Now I know. Hey, I should warn you, it can get pretty lively. With the Klingons and aggression, and... Mm. I should probably stop telling you about the program now. Okay, I'm a little nervous now. Oh, no, don't worry. You'll do fine. There's no doubt in my mind. Come on, I'll take you there. Savea's waiting over at the simulator. Lead the way. Finnegan actually graduated. I guess the Irish are lucky after all. Well, I mean, come on. It's Starfleet. Oh, that's pretty. You know... No one was assigned to a constitution class. Not even you. That's crazy. Hmm, not surprising. How many times did you run the Kobayashi Maru? Kirk's up to two now. Uh huh. Just the one time. To sprint, press and hold the left stick while moving. It looks like we. Oh, you're using the triggers. Nice. Okay, cool. So, feels very much like a. Like a regular RPG. Nice. Uh, Tilly, catch up. We better hurry or we'll lose our spot. I was there. Just stood there. Tilly. Uh oh. There's Ev. And she's looking impatient. Mm -hmm. There you are. About time. Program's loaded and ready to go. I hope this is your lucky simulator. It's been nothing but bad luck for Kirk. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Have any advice for me? I want to pass this. Point the business end of the phaser at the enemy, not yourself. Sorry, Captain Schaefer told us both not to give you any help, no matter how nicely you ask. You got through quantum mechanics, you can get through this. I'll need a yeah, phaser. Those are pretty useful in phaser training, mm -hmm. huh? Bad tricorders don't have a stun setting. You get top marks. <laughs> kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> the phasers are in the armory by the holodecks. Grab one there. Well, let's go. Uh, running is the worst. Press left to scan the area. Your tricorder will point you toward your nearest objective. Thanks. Oh, cool. Is there the ship manager? Okay, cool. So, at the Academy, they have everything they would have at Earth Space Dock as well. I like it. Are we going, or what? Come on, Tilly. Alright, uh, grabbing ourselves a phaser. The pistol has been automatically equipped. 
Okay. Sweet. Just go to the center of the room. No, some plans. We're gonna fire. Ooh. Blood Klingons, huh? Oh shit. Okay. R1 is the power up. While in combat, certain actions are disabled. That's it. How's that? Four Klingons? Okay, four clans. Awesome. Nice work, cadet. A few points below Severe's personal best, but it was your first try. Just four clans. You'll have plenty of opportunities to knock her from her perch at the top of the list once we're underway. Thank you, Captain. Do you have an assignment for me now? That I do, cadet. First officer station is yours. That's if you want it, of course. The bilge officer spot is still open. I mean, you know, first officer is fine with me, sir. Done well, Higgadet. I expect that trend to continue. Onward and upward throughout your career. Thank you, sir. It will be an honor serving with you. Likewise. I'll see you on the bridge then. And congratulations. Thank you. Wow, look at you, first officer. Hmm. You're going to do a great job. Congratulations. That thing the captain said about the bilge officer's spot was pretty funny, though. I mean, we don't even have those anymore. Wait, do we? <laughs> anyway, first do we? officer. Uh, it's a lot of pressure. I hope I'm up to it. Seriously, Captain Schaefer didn't make that decision lightly. He believes in you, just like me. Even though you got me blown up in the Kobayashi Maru. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> well, we should get going to the shuttle bay. Everybody's waiting for the ceremonial send-off toast. Guess who gets to give that? But of course. Yeah, they, the scaling is still a thing to be desired, but it's a little bit better than it used to. The, like some of the corridors back in like 2009 were just gigantic. Now the cool thing, though, about Star Trek Online is the big deal about it was that you know your character was fully customizable by you, and we're gonna jitter and jitter. Let's go ahead and take the turtles to the shuttle bay. Okay. The rest of the senior staff is waiting just ahead. But the characters were completely customizable and you can make them like 15 feet tall if you wanted to. And that's why they had to make the room super huge. <laughs> All right, let's go. Anyway, I'll meet you at the bar. No pressure. You're going to be great. All right, let's go. Ah, looks like the part from the uh, trailer. Go ahead and lead a toast. <laughs> Intimidate. We're gonna be humble. On the first day of class four years ago, I looked in the mirror and thought, there's no way I can do this. I know I wasn't the only one. I look around this room and see fear and uncertainty in your eyes. Being responsible for so many lives is a heavy burden. But we will go forth boldly. We will work together using everything we've learned here. To Starfleet Academy, to the Andes, and to her crew. Class of 2256. I wonder what they're drinking. Water? Alright, let's go. All cadets, please board your shuttles. Let's do this thing. Are you ready to head to the ship? Let's go. Cool. I can't believe we're finally doing this. Ooh, 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 look over there. That's the clay. One of the new crossfield class ships. No one really knows much about her or her capabilities. Well, Starfleet Academy, anyway. Well, you can say her story was a bit of a twist. 
She's a Malakowski class. Cats and sheep is a prime of Jordan. Nice. Good speed for her class. Cool Definitely class. Capable. Stout, solid, battle-proof in design, for sure. I can't Some error ships can right do. before the Constitution was built. Ah, oh, the shuttlecraft are so cool. I love it. Alright, tutorial's kind of over with, at least for this part, it seems. Okay, we need to check in with the deck officer first, then head to our stations. Oh man, I cannot wait to see the engine room. <laughs> My engine room. Yeah! <laughs> you go, Tilly. Yeah, I mean, the scale's okay. The shuttlecraft is about the right size. I mean, I guess this room could be this big. Yeah, I'm not going to pick on it too much. It does look really good, and it does look like a traditional Acting Chief Engineer, reporting for shuttle you. bay. I love it. All right, deck officer, Sterling. Welcome aboard. What's your name, cadet? Jordan Thomas Jenkins. Ah, uh, yes, here we are. <laughs> Acting First Officer. You're all set. Where's the captain? Report to Captain Schaefer on the bridge. He's been expecting you. Use the turbo lift behind me. It'll take you directly there. All right. Directly behind you, huh? Let's do this thing. What's Captain doing? Look at the bridge. This is cool. This is really cool. You're really short. <laughs> Captain? Ah, there you are. Computer, note the executive officer has reported for duty in the ship's log. Welcome aboard, XR. Thank you, sir. You're right on time. All decks have reported in. We're ready to get underway. Let's start things simple by getting the old girl out of dry dock, huh? Contact dock control and get clearance to depart. After we're cleared, close the shuttle bay doors and disable the tractor moorings. Yeah, and get clearance from control for the Andes to leave the gantry. Dock control has cleared us. To Acknowledged. Carry on. <laughs> Tamav, send the signal to close the shuttle bay doors. Shuttle bay doors are closed. Acknowledged. Carry on. Iraz, wait for me to disable the tractor moorings. And we will do that where? <laughs> okay. Yeah, you're excited, bro. Lee? Look at you, man. Oh, Irez? You guys are standing up on the job. I love it. Oh, hey. Lee? You're looking good. All right, Captain. Irez, take us out. One quarter impulse. <laughs> Not playing that one there. <laughs> Not by the book. Clear from dry dock, Rules are suckers. Acknowledged, Helm. Set a course for Vulcan. Warp four. Course laid in, sir. Engage. Nice. Hmm. Did clear space dock first, but that's cool. Stress call from the SS Fortuna. Audio only. Put them through, comms. This is the Fortuna. Can you hear me? So, uh, war code is damaged. We could really use some help here. Let them know we're on our way. Helm, lay in a rendezvous course. Altering course, sir. ETA three minutes. Transporter room. Prepare to beam over survivors. Sir. Sensors can't read anything in the vicinity of the Fortuna. Communications are out as well. Hmm. Keep trying to hail them, comms. XO, let's discuss the situation. W where are you sitting, bruh? Bro, oh. Well, XO, <laughs> you heard the distress call. <laughs> what are your recommendations? Uh, is this a test, sir? Part of the training crews? Afraid not. This is the real deal. For Starfleet regs, we're the closest ship to the Fortuna, so it's our duty to assist. 
It's strange that the transmission was audio only. A warp core emergency shouldn't affect the communications. Not usually, no. Good instincts. How would you proceed here? I recommend we go to red alert. Full power to weapons and load four ton torpedoes. Interesting approach, but I don't think a full tactical alert is appropriate here. Fortuna's a freighter, mm. not a Klingon ship of the line. You're probably right, sir, but we should raise the shields. I agree. Surveyor, raise the shields. As for you, XO, I want you down in the transporter room. You'll oversee the rescue effort from there. Yes, sir. Lee, sit down. Mm, I love jank and video games. And uh, Twitch, 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 Twitch. Oh, look at that. Cool freighter. Desmond, the Fortuna should be in range. Give me an update. I'm getting some weird readings. Oh, it's Klingons. Can't hit a solid block. There may be interference. Trying to compensate. I think I have it. This is a lot different than the training scenario. Beating them over now. Yeah, good job. Klingons. <laughs> well. Well, Desmond let people on the ship, bro. That's what happened. Hold on. We're reading disruptor fire in the transporter room. The Klingons are beaming in on multiple decks. All hands, this is the captain. Repel borders. I repeat, repel borders. Your orders, captain? You have the command codes to unlock an armory near your position. Arm yourself and any security team members you find, and then repel any borders you come across. What about the enemy ship, sir? You let us worry about that. Right now, I need you doing what you can to get those Klingons off my ship. Bet you're glad you took that phaser course now, huh? Shoot straight and stay safe down there. Yes, sir. Over here, Exo. We need you to unlock the armory. Got a phaser? I'm fine. You guys are fine. You have to enter the command codes. Okay. Rebel nice. Rifle. We need to deal with the Klingons. Let's get ourselves a rifle. Awesome. All right. You need to equip your phaser rifle. So press the options button and select the captain option under the ship and crew heading. Okay. Okay, simple enough. Fairly reminds me of what it was before. That was actually pretty intuitive. I like it. Very nice. Okay, let's go do this and let's go get ourselves some Klingons. Yeah, there we go. Make sure these <laughs> and then my I have no weapon equipped. Well, I'm not quite sure. Oh, oh, I see. Well, that was incredibly perceptive of me. <laughs> Just mashing buttons. I was like, oh. I took out four Klingons before. I'm fine. Ooh. Bye. Uh. Sorry. Bye. Hey, she owed me money. I'm not getting that money back, am I? Mmm. Latinum. Mmm. You Klingon bastards. What? Okay, cool. You can use this to quickly heal any damage you may have suffered. Nice, I'm good. So we need to hang a right down this corridor here. I bet you there's gonna be Klingon sneaking somewhere around here. Because that's what they do, those Klingon bastards. Yep, slinking around. Bro, you're not supposed to, like, guard your flank. Desmond. Desmond, Desmond, Desmond. Scan first. Scan first. 
barely deserve this. I, I think they were going to engineering. Better hurry. There's yeah. a lot of them. Yeah, of course there's a lot of them. Klingons. Security to engineering. We are under attack. I'm on my way, Tilly. Ooh. Ooh, that has knockback. Nice. Okay. That was it. Come on now. There's got to be more than that. Yeah, I thought on so. Decks, XO. Our security teams are spread thin. I need you to get to engineering and keep it secure. It's bound to be a priority target for the enemy. On the way, sir. <laughs> the jank in this game. I love it. Oh, it's making me so happy. Okay. Lead the way, XO. We've got your back. Better on my back. Sorry, thank you. Press the right stick to crouch. Crouching gives a defensive bonus against ranged attacks, but increases damage from melee attacks. Ooh. Lee? Why aren't you on the bridge, bruh? Captain got tired of you standing on the con? Nice. Okay. Okay. Breach the door. Nice. Munitions officers got those shields. Oof. Nice. Much more than four Klingons. Much better. You can come out, Tilly. You have no idea how happy I am. McJacobs is here. They were looking for something. Can't imagine what. I mean, they have warp and impulse tech. What else would be in engineering? Especially since the ship's a complete mess, thanks to them. Is there a part they didn't shoot? My Sorry, pants. I, I could really use your help, since you're here. What do you need, Tilly? As I was saying, the ship's taken a lot of damage. I'll do what I can to get the essentials online, but I could use some help. See anything you could do in here? I know how to work with ship's weapons. Done. Sometimes missions specialized to your career class are available. I like the fact that the specialization is still a thing. Okay, warp core stable. Life support is optimal. Nice. Yes. Old cars. I love it. Ship wide comms online. Alright, Tilly. Now phasers. Taking casualties, and the Klingons could send more boarding parties at any time. Do what you need to do down there, and report to the bridge. Yes, sir. Head back to the bridge. We'll cover the steps. You better. Tilly's important. Okay. Cutscene. Uh oh. Oh, this is not good for the captain. Who is in command here? Speak now! I'm Captain Schaefer, and you are? I am Jabula of House Wolka. Okay, huh? Okay, of course. Captain. 
the red makes total Request sense. Request denied. Get off my ship. Ooh. Get off my ship. Nice. If you insist, Captain. Tell the truth. Oh. <laughs> I'm a little late. Nice job, me. Let's get some Cleons. Right in the back. That's honorable, isn't it? Bro. Quarters? I didn't know we were watching A&E. That's the channel Hoarders on, right? Alright. The Klingon Hoarders are gone. I'll try to find the Klingon ship. All right, Neil Pert, hit some drums. Thought I was done for. Bro, Thanks. you're face down. Ian, you're all twitchy. Look at you, bruh. I'll be okay. Thanks to you, but I owe you one. That's right. Latinum. Always Latinum. Put you back down, sir. Come on, Lifeson. That was intense. Klingons. We just fought Klingons. Well, I fought Klingons. You, you fell down, bruh. What, what happened here? Incoming transmission. Put him on screen. Schaefer. What do we do now? Follow orders. That's right. Target is location and fire. Captain Schaefer, we barely knew you. Well, my friends, here we are. The Andes is smoking adrift. Our captain is dead. The smart-ass Kiro is currently on the ground crying. And Ian was face down, and he's fine. So... <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me on this one. I'm really excited to start this uh, gameplay series. I will be releasing at least an episode once a week. I'll try to do an episode or two if I have time. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, just want to say something for coming back to this classic old school Star Trek game, go ahead and leave them down below. If you'd like to support the channel, please like and subscribe. And my friends... I hope you have a beautiful day in this wonderful world, wherever you happen to might be. And until we see each other again, life's in. <laughs> and until we see each other again, live long and prosper. <laughs>